and good Tuesday afternoon. Hard to believe it's already the last Tuesday in August. You're, you're tuned into Project Arrowhead. I'm your host, Jim Sagawas, joined as always by James O'Grady. Hello. What's going Hello. On? And in case you forgot, which you know you may have forgotten. Because we haven't been on for a while. <laughs> because of Jim. Because of Jim. Uh, because of Jim. We were on last week, dumbass. Project Arrowhead is brought to you by the Lansdowne Pub, the Mohican Sun's number one spot for good food, good music, great atmosphere. The Lansdowne Pub. Weekly, spe- actually daily specials. The best in live music, the best in staff. The Lansdowne Pub, located on the upper retail area of the Mohegan Sun Casino. Yes, and you can join us every Thursday night, 9.30, for some karaoke with myself, James O'Grady. We're going to be doing a lot of uh, a lot of dates um, in the next couple months, Jim. We're going to be right. there on a couple Saturdays. We're going to be there actually on Labor Day. Is Labor Day actually? No, Labor Day is that Monday, right? Labor Day is a Monday, yeah. So we'll be there, though, this Sunday. Celebrating Labor Day, so if you're looking for something to do, come down. I'm going to be DJing down on the back. You're going to be there on a Sunday? Yeah, man. We're going up, dude. Carlos did it. We, we're going. We're taking it to the top. I know, I know you're there on a Saturday. Nope, Sunday. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I double check on that because you're listed as Saturday. <laughs> he said September 1st. That's what he said. And September 1st is Sunday. September 2nd is Monday. Yeah, but you said Labor Day was Monday. Did you or did you not just say that? No, he said, is, he said just, September 1st. That's what he told me. So I'm not going to fight that. No. Okay. I'll ask him again on Thursday, but we can bet money. It's always Jim. my fault. Always uh, my fault. It is your fault. So today I, I, I watched a, uh, a documentary on Netflix. And it was um, it was a really interesting documentary. Uh, and it was on Robin Williams. And... um. It was it was just amazing. Uh, a lot of his friends were on there, and you saw the side of Robin Williams that you never saw. Uh, started out from when he was a child, his childhood friends, his his best friends in the business, and his um, his family all took part in this um, documentary. Now, here's a guy who made people laugh for a living. When he first started out, they didn't think he was going to amount to anything. He was, uh, you know, when people suggested that they get this Robin Williams guy, um, they kind of rolled their eyes. And this was back to, um, I don't, a lot of you may not even remember the show Happy Days. But Happy Days is where Robin Williams got his, his start. He was the alien Mork from Ork. And he got his start on the Happy Days show, which then led to a spinoff of uh, Mork, and that was called Mork and Mindy. And even still, they you know it, they went over good. The show was eventually canceled, but they um, they kept up with them. Back then, a lot of people didn't cross over. There was no crossover between TV and and the big film. And nowadays, you got people doing both. Um, some of the top actors in the business are doing TV, and uh, they're doing film, and and back then it was unheard of. So his job was to make people laugh, and he did. He did an, an, an amazing, amazing job at making people laugh. Now, when he was home, he was a totally different person. He left everything out on the stage, and I was kind of, you know, I was kind of taken back by this. He wasn't the funny, happy-go-lucky guy. Well, I mean, he was happy-go-lucky, but he wasn't the comedian that he was on the stage. He was very quiet, very humble. Um, He left everything out on the stage. So when he got home, he just wanted to relax and just spend time with his family. And uh, I thought that was kind of interesting. Here's a guy that... I mean, when you watched his act, you could see he was sweating profusely by the end of the act and... He was always moving, always doing this. And, uh, yeah, he had his demons. Um, I never knew he was an alcoholic. That was something that uh, I learned from watching the documentary today. 
he uh, he definitely had an issue with drinking. Got sober for a while. Then he did this other movie, and uh, I think they were up in Alaska. I don't remember the movie they were film, filming. Um, but it was uh, one thing. He did a nip of Jack Daniels. The nip of Jack Daniels led to a fifth of Jack Daniels, which then eventually led to a full bottle of Jack Daniels, and he was right back into that whole <laughs> downward spiral again. And then came the time he was supposed to go out and do a live performance, he wasn't feeling so hot. They gave him a stress test. He legit, the stress test only went for about an hour. And, I mean, uh, a minute. And the doctor said, all right, we've seen enough. And uh, Robin Williams had open heart surgery. Again, something else I didn't know. He was on the uh, David Letterman show, and David Letterman had had open heart surgery also. And... Uh, they had uh, they formed a club called the uh, the Chess Zipper Club, and if you you know he lifted his shirt up, and he had the big zipper all the way up and down on his chest, and um and he like, made light of it, and um, you know he was still having fun with it, you know now knowing that he was all right. Then came the big diagnosis, and I had heard bits and pieces of it, I had heard rumors of it, and. Um, it was confirmed in this documentary that Robin Williams was diagnosed. Oh, Freaking, am I on a boat? Why in the hell am I going up and down? Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's what um, you do best. <laughs> you wouldn't know. <laughs> I so anyway, wouldn't know. You're right. You're Robin right. I wouldn't know. Robin Williams was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. One of the side effects with the Parkinson's disease was um, dementia. So he was slowly starting to unravel. And he didn't want people to see him in that way. He, you know, he was always the, the funny guy, the, the people, the, his friends could turn to him. And he didn't want people to see him that way. And that's when he went. And uh, another thing I didn't know is he had made multiple attempts to uh, hang himself. And at least two of the times, the belt broke. Um, on the third attempt, he succeeded in hanging himself. And this has a lot to do with depression as well as the medical diagnosis that he had. I've seen people with dementia, um, Alzheimer's. My, uh, my uncle had Alzheimer's, and it, it's like the lights are on, but nobody's home. You know, one day he would, he'd recognize us, and then the next day he'd have no idea who we were. And um, it, it was really... Really a sad thing to watch him deteriorate. And in that aspect, and by no means am I justifying what Robin Williams did at all. But I can understand it. I do not condone suicide. Um, but sometimes there's just things that are bigger than all of us. And... That was kind of one of them. So, I mean, you never know what somebody's going through in their lifetime. Um, you can make smart-ass remarks to somebody, but you don't know what's going on in that person's life. I mean, at work, I get people that come up. And I had one guy, uh, it was like a week ago, he's just yelling at me. And I'm like, dude, I already told you you can go. <laughs> he's still yelling. And then at the end, he's like, oh, I'm sorry. I just needed to vent, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, all right, man. I... Go ahead. And he, may, it, it, he was probably just having a bad day that day. You know, and after, oh, I, told, after I told him twice, all right, man, you can go. Right, you're all set, bud. He got it all out, and then he apologized that he needed to vent. I don't know what's going on in his life. You know, maybe it was something big. Yeah. Don't know. 
Um, but there's many forms of depression. And the one thing that gets me, and I hear people say it all the time. Well, they don't look depressed. Ah, the, the people that are depressed are the ones that are not showing you it. Exactly. You don't know it. They're the ones that are actually the happiest. <laughs> if you look at Robin Williams, like we we're talking about, you know, he always seemed happy. But who knew what he was going through except himself? That's the thing. A lot of people, the people who go out and I don't know if they say that they're crying out for help. I mean, yeah, they're probably depressed Some too. Of them but are. they're oh, not. Wow. Those aren't the real, really depressed people. It's the people that, you know, I don't know. I think people give out into the world. So all these funny people give it out to the world and they just want to return, but they never get it in return. So it's just kind of well, the last, the last like a never person, ending thing. The last person that William, uh, Robin Williams called was Billy Crystal. Now, Billy Crystal was going, he was going on vacation somewhere overseas. I don't remember where it was. But he told him, he says, hey, I got my phone on me. Um, if you need to call me, just go ahead. doesn't matter what time of day or night. And, you know, he said, Robin was like, okay. You know, talking. And uh, he's like, I love you. And Billy Crystal's like, I love you too, man. And it was the last time anybody ever heard from him. Wow. So, I mean, they were little bitty signs that something was wrong but not enough for people to to act upon well because I think everybody's so wrapped up in themselves they're not paying attention to the people that they're with or their family or anything like that so well that could be too that's, that's well that's not could be everybody reaches out man I've had people I've felt bad a couple times too but I've had people that were really close to it and they said something and I was able to catch on to it and talk them out of it and stuff and you know, my buddy, he watched his dad kill himself, and he, I mean, he didn't physically watch it, but, like, his dad said something crazy to him, said that he really loved him or whatever, and then he said that he ne his dad never told him that he ever loved him, and then he kind of knew he was going to hang himself, but he didn't, like, do anything to stop it. It was pretty, pretty crazy stuff. When I was younger, probably 18, 19 years old, um, my best friend committed suicide. He went in the woods behind his house which my grandmother's house was right next door um, mm. so my uncle was outside and this and that and uh, I, I'll never forget getting that phone call from my uncle saying that uh, he had shot himself out in the woods yeah. and I'm like what um, there were no signs he wasn't depressed or well, he was it, depressed. He just, at least we don't know. know. I, nobody knows. There was no 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 nothing. I had talked to him earlier in that day, and everything seemed fine. But there were no signs pointing to that he was going to do something like that. Now, should I have looked closer? I mean, 18, 19 years old. I don't know. Back then, you know? Yeah. Um, and I keep thinking to myself, did I miss something? And even all of his other friends, I mean, we were, we were a very close-knit group. Nobody saw anything. So it's not always right out in front of people. And most of the time, the people that tell you that they're going to commit suicide are not the ones that are going to commit suicide. People who are serious about it, they're just going to do it. The ones who tell you they want to kill themselves are the ones that are crying out for help. Yeah. And most of the time, people are smart enough to know who's telling call the Call the authorities, like actually, yeah. even if they're not. Even if they're not. It, it's a cry for help from something. So it, in, in my line of work, if somebody tells me they want to harm themselves, I have no choice whatsoever but to call 911. It's, I mean, I'm mandated. I have to. So when I have a friend of mine that comes to me and says, ah, I can't take it anymore. I just want to end it all. They know that I have to do what I have to do. I mean, they can pretend to get mad, but they told me for a reason. Yeah. Knowing that I would have to call somebody. And it's, again, getting back to the whole, um, well, he doesn't look depressed. What, what exactly does depression look like? It's like people with these, these sicknesses like uh, MS, early stages of MS or whatever. And people are like, well, they don't look sick. You okay, doctor? 
you know, people just, they're like ignorant. Completely and totally ignorant. So just welcome to the world. Know the signs. If somebody's looking at you and... Their car blows up and they get laid <laughs> off from the job and their DJ mixer fries and they break up with their girlfriend. Just reach out to them, Jim. <laughs> just reach out to them. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta make a phone call. Just reach out, yeah. Wait. Better. Uh, yeah, I'm calling from uh, yeah. United FM. <laughs> Shit. Man, if that, if I didn't kill myself for that, man, I don't think I could ever do it. Never do it. That was crazy shit. Well, it's... But yeah, you have to pay attention to your friends. Like, if you're really friends with somebody, then you should know what's going on in their life. And I think a lot of day, Well, nowadays, excuse me, a lot of people are not really friends with people. They're friends with people, and they might hang out once in a while, but they don't really know what's going on in their life, or they don't care to figure out that. You know what I mean? Even relationships, too. Like, right? a lot of people I know that are in relationships, like, they don't even know a lot of stuff about their girlfriend, or they don't know anything about their boyfriend, and... You know, they don't know how serious different things are. It's just, I think people hide everything from each other nowadays. And there's a lot of lying. And just, I don't know. I don't think people actually know each other nowadays because, like, social media and all the constraints of people, like, talking to each other and not talking to each other. I agree. I agree. You know? and it's, I, I agree 100% on that. Um, and people don't give a shit about you. That's how it is. Like, nowadays, it's like, what can I do to get, or like, I help people out all the time. You know, and it's a lot of people don't want to help each other out anymore. They just kind of want to do their own thing. And they're scared of even talking to you or being vulnerable because they're afraid that you're going to steal their soul or something like that. You know, it's well, I don't ridiculous. think it's that. I think they're afraid of being judged. That's but who I, cares about that, man? I don't a care. A lot of people. A lot of people. They're afraid of what people are going to think about them. I mean, that's why a lot of people don't come out and say a lot of yeah. things. Well, it's a lot worse now than it was. As a kid, I was very... Uh, Exposed to that I always cared about that But now I don't even give a shit Remember when Caitlyn had, um, What's the name Caitlyn right The host When she said that She can read people By the shoes they wear Yeah Yep And like she totally Gave me like the wrong impression Like she said I was safe And whatever And you're like Oh no I just look at your shoes And just realize That you don't give a shit And I don't <laughs> Cause they're like Some crazy shoes But they're comfortable But it's like Kind of like I don't know That's how you express yourself Is just Doing whatever you want you know, some days I dress up, some days I don't. But people don't, I don't know, people don't pay attention to other people. They pay attention about themselves, and then they lock themselves up before behind their, you know, phone screen and, and text messaging and all that stuff. And, sure, and I think another thing is that whole uh, what people wear type thing. You can judge, uh, you know, judge a book by their cover. No, that, that, that's crap, too. Yeah, because there's one individual um, that I know. You would think he's a bum. That's me. You would think he's a bum, and uh, you probably know who I'm talking about. And he's absolutely loaded. He's a very rich individual, <laughs> and um, by looking at him, you'd never be able to tell. Holler at me. No, it ain't you. Eight six zero nine four one seven three nine five. It is me, Jim. You just don't know it because yeah. I dress too homeless for you. You don't even notice. You're like, wow, that guy must be really homeless. I got stacks of cash. Yeah, find your freaking signs all over the place. Well, yeah, there you go. Did you see that the other day, Keith? Stacks driving down the stacks. road and there's a freaking... J-Po everywhere. Everybody po sign on the side of the road. I'm I've like, been slacking too, but guess what? I just ordered like 2,000 signs. It's going to be everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, Everywhere. So you just reveal what those boxes were? No, no, no. That's no. something awesome. Uh, those look like bodies, so I was kind of... Don't worry about it. Yeah, I get bodies shipped to me because I don't have enough already. Come on. I'm not going to buy bodies online. So now, what do you think of antidepressants? I don't like medicine at all. I don't take anything. I used to take um, Ritalin when I was younger. And then middle school, my parents gave me the option if I wanted to continue or if I didn't. And I didn't do anything. So I think medicine is bad for you. I mean, as extreme as that sounds, there's obviously some good to it. But I think what happens is people get dependent on it, right? So even the depression stuff, like I 
am like appalled to even see like those commercials when they're like, oh, you feeling depressed. And then for the rest of the commercials, like, you may shoot yourself. Side effects include bleeding out your butt <laughs> and, like, all this stuff. And it's like, I'm just sitting here like, I'd rather be depressed than sit here and read about or hear them talk about how I'm going to be bleeding and but how I might is, punch my mom. That is like, the one. It's insane. That is the one side effect with every antidepressant every may cause suicidal thoughts. It's nuts. Well, isn't that why you're taking the damn thing? Yeah, well, it's not just those. It's every medicine. It's like if you got a headache, take this. But then if you got this, you might bleed. You might, you know, your kidneys might fear. It's yeah, like, but you got to understand that one in if one out of a thousand people had that symptom, they have to list it as a symptom. Yeah, no, those yeah. poor people that got tested for what a hundred bucks to try out some new pill, they had to experience all that crap. Like, that's why I don't take medicine and depression. I've been at my lowest. I and that I'm not even joking about that week. Like I was really, really low. But I would never I would never end it because I'm smarter than that. But like I could have took medicine and instead of like overcoming that feeling, but now I've worked my way up these past couple weeks, like now I'm not I determined not I'm not gonna take any medicine, I'm not gonna take it out on anybody else. I'm took responsibility for my portion of what I went through and mm -hmm. You know, and that's it. You got to move on. I know it's hard because there's days I wake up and I'm just depressed about nothing. Like, I can just lay in bed and have a million dollars in front of me and I'm still depressed. Yep. Like, I don't know. Like, I counted it and it's sitting right in front of me. But and I, it's just you get depressed about stupid stuff. And I think it's more that you don't know why you're depressed, but there's things in your life that are making you depressed that you didn't realize it. So, like, manipulation or... You know, work, work stuff. But you're not thinking about work, but you're just depressed. But if you actually think about what you did the day before or, like, what you have going on in your life, mm -hmm. you can realize, like, wow, this is really bad for my health. And even the people in your life, if they're very good manipulators, you don't realize what they're doing. And then you're just depressed for no reason. Well, absolutely. I mean, if you got people bringing you down, it's time to get rid of those people. But it's so indirect, though. Like, my buddy, he I've been friends with him forever. He is the most negative person in life. But the reason why I'm friends with him is he's a good dude, and he's really good friendship. And I realize that, like, I don't talk to him about business stuff anymore because I tell him something that I'm excited for, and all of a sudden he'll find, like, a 100 reasons why it's not going to work. And he doesn't do it to be a jerk. He just has a shitty life. I mean, yeah. not to sound like a jerk myself, but... He really has everything is is negative in his life because he lets it become negative and mm -hmm. you know and and he does have some valid valid feedback but most of the time I can tell him I just found a hundred dollar bill on the ground and he's like oh yeah I bet you it's fake or somebody's gonna call you up or or you're a liar and it's like what like I just picked it up like you know it's well did you know that ninety percent of people in America have or some fake. form of depression yeah i can see that 90 90 percent of americans have some form of depression and i mean there's, there's a broad spectrum there's some minor depression and then there's major depression where it consumes your life i mean there's days where i don't even want to get out of bed I'm just like, I don't want to see anybody, don't want to talk to anybody. I, I just don't want to do anything. Um, but then again, doing what I do, I see things that make horror movies look tame. Yeah. You know, I see the worst of the worst. And um, so, yeah, I mean, there's just days where I just don't feel like dealing with anybody. And... Um, but when you get to the point where you can tell what's causing it, you can solve it. And that's why a lot of people, because I, oh, man. When I was at my lowest point, I was, like, fighting with myself in my head legitimately, like, thinking crazy stuff. And then I'm like, this is crazy. And, like, I had a choice. I can fall deeper into the hole or I can jump out of the hole and avoid all of it. So I decided to jump out of the hole, you know, and now I'm doing better. I mean, I lost pretty much everything besides my money and my house. In one week but then I was like you know what I can make it happen again and that's what I did now I'm even better now I got a better car and I'm actually gonna buy another car and then probably gonna buy a truck I'm gonna spend a lot of money on that stuff but you know it's 
it's learning and you have to do it yourself nobody else can do it nobody else if you're depressed you got to do it yourself you got to get yourself out you can tell people about it but at the end of the day it's you and it's not the medicine i mean you might think you have to take medicine but honestly i think that makes it worse we well yeah but a good support group is also very very beneficial yeah well the point of a support group is people that are like you so if you and it's the same with being successful if you want to be successful hang out with successful people you want to hang out with rich people like i have a lot of rich friends like i hang out with them and listen to what they have to say because they are already rich they're already there you know and it's the same with depression you hang out with other people to a certain extent if they're trying to progress or they might just try to make you more depressed than they are so then it makes themselves feel better but you know we know somebody i'm not going to mention her name but um you know her too and she's been battling all kinds of stuff mm -hmm. and now she just texted me that um she wanted to start like a group up for it and i'm just like yeah you know like you can do it but what is it gonna be like you know and she faces depression and you know, she wants to be around other people who face it. But I don't know, in that aspect of it, I don't think you should surround yourself with people who are facing it. You should surround yourself with people who have overcome it. And, like, you know what I mean? Like, you don't want you don't want to be around it too much because there's always going to be one of those people that are going to bring you down. Yep. And but I also think that that keeping it inside is the worst thing for you. Yeah, no, I've, I've wrote letters to people. Yeah, that's like the best way. Even to do writing it. a journal. I mean, not so much writing letters to people, but writing a journal, keeping mm. stuff written down. You know? I, yeah. Well, that's a good way to get rid of it. I just like to write a letter, and then I send some of them out. Some of them I don't send out, but it's the same thing as a journal. I just, if I don't send it, I just rip it up and throw it away, and then it kind of does work. It's weird how that works out. Mm -hmm. But I think it's just because you're thinking about it and you're like want to express yourself, but you don't have anybody to express it to because your friends don't care anymore about that girl or they don't care about your situation. They don't want to hear it again because it's just nonsense. But like once you write it all out, it's it makes you feel pretty good. You know, it's, I'm not too shabby on that. Well, the bottom line is if you guys are feeling depressed, um, call Jim. You can call me. You can call me. If, 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 if you're feeling that low, absolutely. You can call me anytime. Um, but call somebody. Talk to somebody. Um, suicide is not the way. Um, as you know, um, locally, we had somebody uh, leave their job and sit for an hour and then commit suicide. And nobody knows why and this person was a uh, great guy and just like floored everybody and just totally stunned a lot of people so it's he's not hurting anymore but guess who is the people he left behind are the ones that are left to pick up the pieces their life is now destroyed so it's a selfish move it's it's not worth it don't don't do it. So that was a cheery conversation. Yeah, no, you always, <laughs> you always pick sad shit to say, and then you yeah. always do it in the beginning of the show. So now I can't even make jokes and stuff because now, it's like, do I do I joke get, about now stuff? Now we can get upbeat. Like no, but now I'll be like I can't make any suicide jokes now because you just. Why would you make a suicide it. joke? Like I can't do any of that now. Like I can't say how's what? it hanging, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> because we just talked about it. See? You're a horrible, Jim. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got nothing Laughed on that one. one. Holy crap. So Cowboy's about to go take it, huh? No. No. Yeah. Absolutely not. So They are right here. I'm looking at them. Next week, the NFL season kicks off. And you're going to hear it right here from Project Arrowhead. You're going to get Overpriced. mine and J James O'Grady's Not mine. picks for the 2019-2020 World Series. Yeah. Right? World Series? NFL season. The World Series, that's like, that, 
baseball garbage is done already. It's going to be the Astros and the Dodgers, and the Astros going to win the World Series. There. Didn't they play each other last year? Or the the, year the Red Sox played the Dodgers last year. Who who played before that? Wasn't it Astros um, and Dodgers? Oh yeah, Red Sox won last year because we had to play the stupid Sweet Home Caroline every f- night of the of the day. It was. Yeah. Uh, I remember that. Astros won, but I can't remember. I can't remember if they beat the the Dodgers. Or the Cardinals. Either way, they won. 2017. Yeah, what do you got? Whoa. Let's see. I don't know. Well, I know the, I know the Astros World won. Series was Dodgers and, yeah, and the Astros. Houston. Right. So the Dodgers have LA. lost back-to-back World Series. Yep. Losers. Woo. All right. So we'll start in the AFC, and and do we even need to mention the AFC East? <laughs> Why don't you do it for the people that don't know what that is? All right. Well, the like AFC me. East it's will be the Dolphins. Yes, uh, yeah. you know that. <laughs> yeah, Dolphins. Uh, once again, in the AFC East, the New England Patriots will run away with that division, hands down. Uh, the competition in that division is just horrible. And hey, just dumb question though. This is they're in the same. They're in the same every year, right? What? Like they're all AFC East, or yeah. do they switch out? No. No, they're all in the same division. Yeah, no wonder why. I'm never really paying attention to this. Yep. They play some shitty people. Yep. So. <laughs> so no wonder why the Patriots get hyped up so much. And all the good people are like, so they literally only have to beat one good person. No, no, they got a couple. I mean, like, they open up. Um, like, look at this. They open up Sunday night against the Steelers. Um, I mean, that that should be a tough game. Yeah. Uh, they play Kansas City. They play the Cowboys. They play the Giants. They play the Eagles. Um, so they do have a few tough games this year. But the other teams in that division also have to play those teams. And it's going to be, hands down, the Patriots are going to win that division going away. I think the Jets might come in second. And uh, that's, that's going to be tough, too. You think the Jets are going to be second? I think the Jets, well, it doesn't really matter in that division. I mean, they can go five and whatever, and five and uh, 11 and still finish second. Um but yeah, the the Jets just because of their defense, I think are going to finish second, followed by the Bills, and then uh, sorry Carlos, but and he's already admitted it too. Miami's going to finish last, but they'll beat the Patriots though, because the Patriots can never win against them. Who? The Dolphins. Yeah, you better look up the record of the New England. You know how Miami. many times they beat them in the past like four years? Let's how many? See. How many times? Go I don't ahead. know. I'm going to look it up though. Tell me they're scientists. Oh. All right. Now we'll go to the uh, AFC North. And the AFC North, the Cleveland Browns will not win the division. Uh, Cleveland will be greatly improved. Um, and I know some of the gurus are already putting them in the Super Bowl. But no, Cleveland will not win that division. They may make the wild card. Say the Dolphins lead the all-time series 55-52. Yeah, that's because the Patriots used to suck. But what is it recently? They sucked recently. They got beat by the Dolphins at least the past two years. I think the Patriots won the Super Bowl the last two years. It doesn't matter, though. So What I was saying is the Dolphins were better than the Patriots. <laughs> if the Dolphins were better than the Patriots, they'd have been... Uh, they may have beaten them once, but... No, they beat them. you got to look once. at the recent records because most of those losses were way back in the day. So, yeah, getting back to it, Cleveland will not win the AFC North. It's going to come down to the same two teams as always. It's going to either be the Steelers or the Ravens. The Ravens, all depends on Lamar Jackson. He's either going to have a breakout season or a bust. There's not going to be any happy medium there. It's going to be all or nothing. So, if... If Lamar Jackson has his breakout season, Baltimore will win that division. If not, then it's going to go to the Steelers. 
Now, I know Gilman's waiting for me to tell him that the Cowboys are going to do good, but <laughs> I can't lie. Which Gilman? Jim Gilman, my cousin. All right. Your cousin? The AFC South. AFC South is once again going to be almost as big of a joke as the AFC East. The Houston Texans are going to win that division going away. Um, Indianapolis with the loss of Andrew Luck. And that's another thing. When a guy goes out there and gives you his everything. But to, doesn't win, though. To the point. No, oh, he won. He was good. But to the point where he's out there in excruciating pain every game. And gets to the point where the pain just gets to be too much. And he would end up doing his, his team more damage than good. And he walks away from the game. You know, hardest decision he's ever had to make to retire. And then you sit there and you boo him as he's walking off the field. That has got to be the most ignorant thing I've ever seen in my life. That is one of the most classless displays I've ever seen out of fans in my life. And it's Indianapolis. I mean, what do you expect? Um, you know, like they said, uh, kind of sucks when somebody abruptly leaves. Sign the fans of Baltimore. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yeah, you've got no, you've got nothing. You know, you should be thankful you got what you got and not acting like a bunch of spoiled ass clowns. So. Now, the division that's going to be the toughest in the NFC is the NFC West. And most people think the Kansas City Chiefs are going to repeat in that division. Nope. You said West? Most people say the Kansas City Chiefs are going to repeat in that division. Well, they're not in that division. The AFC West? Oh, you say AFC. I thought you said NFC. Nope. The winner of the AFC West this year, I'm put a asterisk on it, and that depends if Melvin Gordon signs or not. If if Melvin Gordon Gordon Melvin Gordon doesn't sign, then yeah, I'm gonna go with Kansas City. If Melvin Gordon signs, the and I know they're the LA Chargers, but I still call them the San Diego Chargers. Will win that division. Followed by Kansas City. It's, it's going to be those two. It'll either be Kansas City or San Diego that wins that division. And again, like I said, if Melvin Gordon signs, I give it to the Chargers. If he doesn't sign, then uh, can't take anything away from Kansas City. And, and, my Super Bowl prediction for the AFC is kind of tough because, again, if Melvin Gordon signs, then the Chargers will be going to the Super Bowl. If he doesn't, then Kansas City will be going to the Super Bowl. I mean, not the Super Bowl, the AFC Championship game. I'm sorry. And they Are you sorry? No, I'm sorry. To the AFC Championship game. And the AFC Championship game is going to be the Patriots against one of those two teams, either the Chargers or the Chiefs. And the AFC representative in the Super Bowl, one more time, will be the New England Patriots. Now, the NFC. NFC East. And this is where all the Cowboy fans are going to be, oh, Cowboy, Cowboy. No. <laughs> no. No. Unless you sign Ezekiel Elliott, you're not going to be a good team. You're not going to be a good team at all. Because if you have to sit there and rely on Dak Prescott to throw the ball, forget it. <laughs> it's just, he, he's not a good quarterback. He's not worth the money he wants. 
So if, if you have no running game and you got to rely on Prescott, you might as well just hang it up now. You don't think he's good? Dak Prescott? What? I say he's an average quarterback at best. And he's shown that. Huh. He's never done anything without Ezekiel Elliott. And right now, Ezekiel Elliott is still holding out. And he's got, I think, till Saturday or Sunday. What do you think about that new quarterback for the Giants? I forgot what his name was. We'll get to the Giants. We'll get to the Giants in a minute. Let's talk about the Giants now. We'll get to the Giants in a minute. So, yeah, I don't see the Cowboys doing anything without Zeke. Now, right. the most improved team in the NFC East will be the Giants. And Daniel Jones is the uh, the quarterback that you were talking about. He has been amazing, uh, absolutely amazing in the preseason. He's made believers out of all the doubters. Um, will it transfer over into the regular season? We'll wait and see. Um, I think it will. I think it will. He's 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 looking really good out there. Um, and Kyle Laletta has also looked really good out there. So I think the Giants quarterback situation is pretty good. Now, let's talk smoke and mirrors. The Giants head coach, Pat Shermer, was the quarterback coach for the Minnesota Vikings. And he took two ridiculously horrible quarterbacks and made them look like pro bowlers to the point where they went to different teams and they suck. So, is Daniel Jones going to be a a product of the system? Or is he going to be the real deal? It's like Tom Brady. What do you think of Tom Brady? Do you think Tom Brady would be just (laughs) as good on another team? Are you talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. You're talking to me? I don't think Tom Brady's good at it all. So, I just think they're all good at cheating. Tom Brady's the best quarterback in, a, in the, of all time. Of all time? Of all time. He's got Stop just it. about every Stop record it. there is to have. Stop it. He's got every record there is to have. He's no. got more Super Bowl wins and any more playoff appearances than any other quarterback in the league. More passing yards, more touchdowns. Yeah, all time, hands down, best quarterback. Or maybe you should meet him. Well, he was at the casino. But do you think he'd be just as good on another team? Or do you think he's a product of the system? I think all of them are. If you actually think about it, it's, all, it's a team sport. It's not just a quarterback. So, yeah. I can answer that confidently. You have to have a good team to play with. You can't just be the best quarterback. I mean... Eli Manning, he's a good quarterback, but he was getting shitted on, right? His offensive line was not. What offensive was that? line? The That's offensive what I'm line was offensive. That's what I mean. Like, he was hit more than any quarterback in NFL history over the last three years. Well, that's my point right there. Now, if he had some good people blocking, I'm pretty sure he would have done a lot better. What, it was like 2007, 2008, they were in the Super Bowl? They beat the Patriots, uh, didn't they? I think 2007 and 2009, I think. Yeah, they beat the Patriots twice. Yeah. Including the, I mean. the undefeated New England Patriots, I might add. Yeah. So that's what I mean. Obviously, it's not Tom Brady. He's good, but he's only as good as his team is allowing him to be good. If people were getting through and he was getting sacked. Yeah. I mean, Fair enough. that's why I say I think he's overrated because people don't give his team credit. They always give him the credit or Gronk. You know what I mean? Like, but Gronk can't do anything without those other people. It's like running a bar, oh right? My. The owner can take credit, but the owner is not doing everything. It's the people working the bar. Like Keith, the come over here. What is he doing? Is it all messed up? No. You know what I'm saying, though? I know what you're saying. Keith. With teamwork makes a dream work. Keith. 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 Why are we yelling at I don't know. He's still not answering us. Oh, is he even in the room? No, he left. <sighs> Ooh. So. Ooh. I'm going to go. What does that say? Don't repeat it on there because I'll get in trouble. Wow. Ooh. 
What does that mean? Can you decipher that without okay. saying what it is? It's a Russian hack. No, right. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> when we get off air, I'll show you what happened this weekend. Holy crap. Oh, God. So, anyway, the NFC East will be the Philadelphia Eagles once again taking that title. The Eagles will win the NFC East. And depending on... Hey. Keith. He's taking a poop. Leave him alone. Oh, you're blocked. So, I made it too far ahead here. Um, There we go. Yeah, it will be the Eagles, followed by, here we go, the Giants, then the Cowboys, and then Washington. Those are your top four? That's the division right there. That'll be the NFC East. The Eagles followed by the Giants, the Cowboys, and then the Redskins. All right, now, it's probably going to be the best division in the NFC, or one of them, the NFC North. The NFC North champion will be the Chicago Bears. Dub Bears. Dub Bears. Yep. Yep. Chicago's defense, um, followed by a fairly decent good offense. Chicago Bears will win the NFC North. You think so? Yep. You don't think the Packers? Nope. Really? Nope. Uh, and Packers aren't even going to finish second. Minnesota Vikings will finish second. And then the Lions will probably beat the Packers. <laughs> huh? The The Packers are rebuilding. And what? so are the Lions, to be honest with you. Um, so it'll be a shootout between the Lions and the Packers for the bottom. And um, I don't think it's going to be close up top. I think the Bears are going to take that division hands down. Barely. Yep. Gina. Gina is watching. (laughs) What's up, Gina? Oh, is she on there? Yeah, Gina's right there. You tagged her. Was she supposed to be here today? No. No, I always tag her on the show. Well, you tagged me and her. And there was no video, so I just didn't know she was supposed to be here. Why are you looking at me like I was just asking was she supposed to be no, here or was she not? Because you're rambling. I ramble. That's what the show's rambling. about. We got 40 minutes left. So. We can talk about crap. The NFC South. I don't see anybody Falcons, beating. Falcons, come on. I don't see anybody beating New Orleans. You don't think so? Gina will be here next week. You saw it there, ladies and gentlemen. The return of my co-host, Gina. She'll be here next so, week. Yeah, you're not needed. No, That's I'm fine. I'll quit. I don't <laughs> care. I'm kidding. Because you know, you know you'll be here by yourself. <laughs> Hi, Gina. Hope all is well with you. The New Orleans Saints will win that division hands down. I honestly think Tampa Bay may finish second. Followed by Atlanta and then Carolina. Really? Yep. Damn. Yep. Falcons got screwed a couple years ago. They got New Orleans. Oh. New Orleans got screwed last oh. year. Remember we talked about that last week with that pass interference? Yeah. But <laughs> I'm they, just they saying though, like those Falcons should have won. I can't believe that happened. Holy crap. Which I saw um this post online. There's a video of like people. I forgot what it was. It was like saying like people that were like celebrating too early. And there was like races, like people running, and they thought they were about to win, and they were putting their hands up to get the crowd going, and like the guy behind them just like shoots past them. <laughs> they did all those, but they didn't have the Falcons. Like I would have had the coach out there. Remember when he came out on the sideline, and he was sitting there with his wife, and he was like, "Yeah, we about to win." That was at like the end of the third quarter, I think it was, and there yeah, was, was like twenty eight to seven or something. Yeah, it was, it was I don't even know. Early. And then he, it wasn't early. He just thought that he got it. And honestly, I thought the Patriots were going to lose too. But then, you know, they cheat. So it's oh my those, God, they don't cheat. those referees that was, play on their team. It was 28-3. to three. Will you stop with that Yeah, crap. those referees, Jesus. man. You saw the New Jersey they got, right? Pull, pull it up. No. <laughs> pull up the New Jerseys. No, because I'm sick of hearing that crap. Because it's not true. 
and as a giant fan i can tell you it's not true it's haters hating they're drinking the hater aid it's ridiculous look at this all right so the last division <laughs> is the <laughs> nfc west and the nfc west will once again be won by the la rams actually i think that division is gonna pretty much end the same way it ended last year it's gonna be the rams the seahawks the 49ers and then arizona the nfc championship game you know a lot of people want to hear the rams and new orleans rematch mm. but it's not gonna be it's gonna be the new orleans saints and the chicago bears no way yep and the super bowl next year's super bowl write it down Mark it down, write it down, take a picture. I don't give a fudge. We'll be the New England Patriots and the Chicago Bears rematch. No way. Write it down. Bears ain't coming write, up. Write it down right now. Nope. Write it down. Bears are the, the best Bears team in the suck. NFC. You really think they're going to win? Yep. No way. The Bears should have won last year, but the dude missed a field goal, remember? Yeah, but still, you know what? It got well. Can't, I can't say that because he took the brunt of it, but it get, it did get tipped. It got deflected at the line of scrimmage. That's just good defense. If, if that doesn't happen, Bears go to the Super Bowl last year. Yeah, well, you know, it, a lot of Bears things, go to the Super Bowl last year. A lot of things could have happened if other things didn't happen. And this year, the Bears defense is actually improved. So, write it down. Next year's Super Bowl. <laughs> New England Patriots and the Chicago Bears. Well, who's going to yeah. win that? The New England Patriots uh, will win nah. their seventh. I don't NFL want either of them in there. I don't want either of them in there. Well, Definitely I love it. I mean, Bears. This and I'm not going to root for the Patriots against the Bears. So this I probably is won't a, watch it. I mean, this is a once in a lifetime thing. We'll never see a dynasty like this again in our lifetime. Ever. So, I mean, yeah. If my Giants aren't going to be there, then I'd, I'd love to see the Giants keep it up because because it's it's something we'll never see again. And I mean, Brady's only got well, maybe two more years left. Yeah, but they always keep saying that, right? Susan Dub says hi. What's up, Sue? Mm. Hey, Sue. Mm -hmm. I don't know who you are. Do I know her? I don't know. So. That's it. That's my pick. Chicago Bears and Chicago the Patriots, huh? Bears and yeah. the New England Patriots. Yeah. Rematch from the 1986. Gross. Oh, I'm sorry, 1985 Super Bowl. Gross. Is Dicko going to come out? I'd probably do something. I'll probably be sideline coaching. Well, I mean, he'll... He'll probably deflate the balls for them. Oh, for the love of Christ. Here <laughs> or he'll just use his deflated balls. <laughs> I mean, he'll do something. I'm sure he'll do something. He'll he'll be there. Um, I'm sure Gronk will be there. Um, I, I will not be there. I won't yeah, be there. See? Sarah's mom. Sarah who? Oh, my God. Sarah Beer? Beer. The one who did the face painting for the you? Beer. Sarah. Hey, if you're still single, I'm single. Sarah, just putting that out run. there. Run. Moms love me. Run, Sarah, run. Moms love me. Leah, run. Sarah, run. Oh, is Leah on there? <laughs> yeah, she was. I, I still can't going. get over that she's 23, man. This is, uh, you guys had to have been lying to me. I looked in her Facebook to try to confirm it. Couldn't find any of that information. But there's no way that she's 23 years old. Leah is 23 years old. No way. No way. She acts more mature and carries herself more as an adult than you do, Jim. And you're going to tell me that she's 23 Shut years up. old? Shut up. Yeah, she's 23 years old. But you can agree with what I'm saying. I had to tell her that. I was like, no way. I didn't believe it. I still don't believe it. But now I'm going to pay attention next time I see her. And then I'm going to be like, let's see. Because all the 23-year-olds that I know are getting wasted and asking me for crazy crap to play. It's at Sunset way. Ribs. Pretty much, yeah. 23-year-olds. Hey, I don't want to talk about young, Sunset Ribs. Young, young, young people. Sunset Ribs, the only place that employs oh, serial rapists. Sunset up. Ribs. I shouldn't even say that. Waterford, blah, Connecticut. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Anyways, next. Waterford, next, Connecticut. Next. But, yeah, I can't believe that. Yeah, she's 23. Now, Anna and them, yeah, I can definitely believe that. 
Because well, Andrew's like the same. They're like 18, 19. Oh, my God, man. These girls are getting younger over there. Ari's 18. Who's Ari? Ari's one of the hostesses. I don't know who that is. Ari's 18. Um, actually, um, Ann, I think, just turned 20. I thought she was already 20. No, I think she just turned 20. <sighs> Or maybe she's going to be turning 21 because I think she said something about her turning 21 and all of her friends are still 20. Yeah, that makes sense. So what is it? Katie is like, how old is she? 25, 26? Yep. What about Melissa? What about her? How old is she? I don't know. That's what I mean. Like, I'm questioning like everything now. Like, you're like the oldest person in that room. And then I'm probably like the second oldest. That's crazy, man. How old is John, you think? John? Yeah. 24? All right, not too bad. Carlos? I don't know. Carlos is up there. I think he's in his late 30s. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Carlos, how old are you? Randy's like 60, isn't he? I, you know what? <laughs> I hope when Randy sees you, he's going to come out and beat you with a well, buffalo, all right. buffalo mozzarella, mozzarella stick. stick. I'd be happy. <laughs> I would be happy. Oh, dear God. I would be happy for his so, mozzarella sticks. Yeah, I'm going to go off on a little rant. I think it's pretty disturbing when the owner of a local company that employs a serial rapist oh, shit. See, man, harass- this is what I just did. harasses leaving. the victim. That's kind of disgusting. Absolutely ridiculous. I just found that out today. That's horrible. People are absolutely... Pathetic. No comment. Because I don't even know what you're talking about. You most certainly do. Shut up. You said you heard something new today. I don't know anything. Oh, yeah, I didn't tell you. What is that? It's not. You're screwing up the. Uh... Oh, isn't this. Oh, what was that show? The guy that traveled in time. You know what I'm talking about? The guy that traveled the time machine? No. What the hell was it? <laughs> it said, I don't know. Oh, no. It reminds you. Oh, the ticket. The golden ticket from that. Um, Willy Wonka? No, the Arnold Schwarzenegger one. The one that went back in the movie. What the hell was it called? Last Hero or something? Yeah, something hero. Something hero. The Last Action Hero? Yes. Remember, like, he'd use this. He'd use, didn't he use a movie ticket to... It's a magical ticket. Yeah, but you see in the screen, you see how it looks. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it did, because yeah, he was in a movie theater. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I am. Wow, movie right. reference. You got actually, you got it correct. Did you say Looney? No, movie. Mooney? Oh, Looney Tunes. Or, uh, no, Roger Rabbit. Didn't that, that guy just died. Yeah, the guy that uh, did the animation for Roger Rabbit. Passed yeah. Away. What was the other girl's name? Oh, uh, Jessica, his, his girlfriend. In Jessica the, Rabbit. Yeah. I know she was dating a rabbit. Wasn't it like Jessica he's getting rabbit? that. No, it wasn't ass. Jessica Rabbit. It was. Yeah, I think it is. Jessica, let me look. Because she's not a rabbit. But she was married to him. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, let's see. Oh, look, Jessica Rabbit cosplay. Ooh. Yeah, Jessica Rabbit. Yep. It was in Who Killed Roger Rabbit. Mm-hmm. That was a movie. That movie was really good. It was good. They haven't made anything like that before. Or after that. Uh, yeah, they did. What? Um, Space Jam. You think Space Jam was eh? Well, who are See, you talking Sue about says, that Sue says Jessica Rabbit is correct. But it's Space hot. Jam was the same thing with um, human and anime interaction. Yeah, you're right. I like that, though. You know what? Why didn't that take off? Like those You're kinds of movies. A second one. No, 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 I'm not talking about Space Jam. I mean, like those types of movies. Like now, they can definitely do it, and it's not as ghetto as it was back then. You know what I mean? Like with the with the technology that they have now, why are they not doing more mixed movies? I don't know. Are you going to poop? Jim's going to poop. Oh, you put me on the screen by myself while Jim is pooping. So why do I gotta? What do I gotta talk about? I can't even see the comments. We're looking at Jessica Rabbit. Um, what movie would be Keith? What movie would be good? To um, I don't know. You know, maybe 
like a Disney. Well, I, some of the Disney movies already have humans and um, cartoons in them. Is Jim okay? I think he's pooping. <laughs> he's pooping. We should be getting Felicia on the line soon. She should be calling in with some of her wise. Hold on, now we'll, we'll switch to the bathroom cam. Switch to it. Switch. Oh, yeah, it's possible. Make sure you wash your hands, Jim. Jim doesn't like washing his hands, ladies. He's gonna come out, gentlemen. Touch the mouse and yeah. And you like him when he touches that mouse, though, don't fecal you? Fecal matter on it. Uh. The hell are you talking? About? Here he comes. <laughs> He's got toilet paper don't on his get shoe. Fecal matter on my mouse. Uh, yeah, Jim toilet was, paper Jim on his shoe. Pooping. Jim was <laughs> definitely pooping. You're you're you're, you're disturbing. Sarah, what's up, Sarah? Oh, hey, Sarah. It's my future girlfriend. Sarah, run. Trust me. Run. Don't run. Run. No, bud. Run to the hills. Yeah. You don't even know who sings that. Nope. Yep. No, nope. we got to fix my camera. DJ so it's over not here getting that the side of my know. head. You know what I mean, yeah. Keith? We should fix the camera and put it over so I can look at Jim while I'm talking and not. Have to look at the computer screen. Because every time I look over, they're just getting my side look. Wow. <laughs> Jim didn't even see that. Holy crap. All right. So we got 28 minutes left. What should we talk about, Jim? <laughs> what made you mad this week? <laughs> Don't even repeat it. I don't even oh, want to know. Repeat. Sarah says, is that how you say hi to the ladies? <laughs> oh, I thought it was going to be something else. <laughs> what I say hi to the ladies? Oh, uh, she talking I about when I licked a... Yeah, I, get, I, get, I do. I got a weather station right in front of me. I don't talk to any ladies, Sarah. It's, right it's now, it's 80 way. degrees with 40, 48% humidity. It is not 80 degrees outside. I'm looking at it right now. It's, what it's, it's not 80 degrees outside. It is 80 degrees. It's Next year, you're telling me humid. that it's going to rain when it's 100%. No. Dude, it is going to no. rain. It's going to rain tomorrow night. Heavy torrential downpours. No. You don't want to see how he talks to the ladies, Sarah. I trust don't me. believe it. What do you mean, trust you? You've never even seen me talk to a lady before. Oh, but yeah, I've seen you talk to ladies all the time at work. Um, You're talking about the ones that I complain to you and say, I kick this girl out because I'm about to slap her. <laughs> I don't do that, though. I've never even said that. That's exaggerating a little bit. Just he, to clarify. Uh, I will, but yeah, I've told you that him. there's girls that are like... Yeah, you got to get this one out. Like, girls are vicious. You guys are vicious, man. Like, jumping over my table and, like, demanding stuff and, like, pointing at me in my face. and Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. spitting I've, on me. Like, spitting it. on me. It's insane. And Jim never does his job. <laughs> so I'm like, Jim, get this girl out of here. He's like, what girl? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. you guys. You, oh. you tell me after the fact. And, and then I tell you not to kick him out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't kick him out. I just needed a vent on that. Yeah, I never kick him out because it's funny to me. People that get upset about karaoke, it is like the funniest thing. You didn't it play makes my, my song. They yeah. didn't get to sing. They didn't get to sing. We ran out of time. I'm sorry, guys. What can we tell you? It's, uh, it's a fun job, though. I do enjoy it. Yeah, I don't. But I'm the one that gets spit on, sucker punched, screamed at. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I get paid to do, though, I guess. Sucker punched. Sarah just now realized her mom was on. <laughs> Hi, Sarah's mom. <laughs> Mom's been here longer than you, Sarah. Yeah, Sarah. Maybe I should date your mom instead of you. Ladies and gentlemen. The mom dater. We will be right back. We, we will do something with him, I promise. Do something for me. The um, Sarah Jean is here too. You got a fidget spinner over there. You got a fidget spinner. Sarah, your fidget. Sarah, mom gave you a hug. Gina's unblocked. Gina's unblocked now. Yeah. Yeah, we've been talking to Gina. Why was she blocked? Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Bum, 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 bum. It was Sarah. How was your day today, Sarah? Sarah says Gina. Who else is over there? Uh, Sarah, Sarah's mom. Hi, Sarah. How was your day today? Sarah's mom, how was your day today? You drove by our haunted there? house this morning. Which haunted house? Leffingwell? Who said that? By the way, we will be having another... I gave, gave Jason a hug. Who the hell is Jason? Yeah, who is Jason? 
Are you talking about cheating on me? Are you talking about him? He's so memorable. (laughs) Who said that? Is that Sarah or was that Sarah's mom? (laughs) Oh, she doesn't even know who I am. Nope. Yeah, you're that that. But she doesn't know who I am though. (laughs) Now, if Sarah said my name was Jason, then that's disrespectful because I actually met her one time in real life. So yeah. Anyway, we're gonna have another public ghost hunt. This is gonna be a two-day event in October. I believe I don't have it in front of me right now, uh, but I want to say it's the 25th and 26th of October. I will uh, get the details for that. And it's going to be the same as every year. Um, not I like how you just get quiet. Oh, no, I'm reading what Sarah wrote. I can't. It says see more and it won't come up. Oh, there it is. Oh, j- oh okay, that one, yeah. Um, it's going to be the same as every year. Um, the only difference is this year it's going to be two days instead of one. So we will have a two-day event. And uh, same email. Once I get all of that, I'll put it up probably next week. And um, it'll be another good time. Sarah, it last time Sarah was there, it was just unbelievable, off the chart, the interaction she had with the entity in that house. And um, hopefully, um, hopefully we can do it again. Sarah's not commenting. I think she's scared. Um, you just said she commented. By the way, totally random PSA. Ladies and gentlemen, PSA. There's an account going around called Mohegan Sun Prizes or something to that extent. Do not add it. It is a scam. Oh, man. This public service announcement has been brought to you by Sarah Beer. Thank you, Sarah. I haven't I seen it I thought I won yet, the car. <laughs> Am I not going to get it now? Once again, it's, it's called... My lifetime Pizza. Mohegan Sun Prizes or something to that extent. It is a scam. Uh, do Why does she know if it's a scam, though? She probably clicked on one of those videos of herself. You know, I never understood how that gets shared. Have you seen that where somebody sends you a thing like, Oh my God, Jim, it's you. And it's a video, and like all you have to do is click on it, and then you get spammed. Like, I don't understand. Yeah, but if you're dumb who, enough clicks to... on, who clicks on those videos? Like, I don't understand. Like, how is there a video of you exactly. that people if, think, if, if like, I'm famous, enough. and I I know that there's no videos of me. Like, I don't understand Did that. you just like, say you're famous? No, nah, that's not what I said. I'm kind of a big deal. But, you know, like, it's, I just can't understand why these people click on these videos. Like, holy crap, man. Yeah, if you're and dumb enough to click so on it. I get so many times, then... like, oh, don't, don't click on that. It's spam. No crap. Like, why would you even have a video of me? Like, I don't understand it. Right. Like, I didn't, what? What? Yeah. And then he's uh, I would know they're, there's they're, a video of me floating around out there, and I'm not going to click on, especially if no. you look at it right, there's words that are spelt wrong. Yeah. It's not even English. It's like gibberish. It's, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, if somebody says you're going to win a gift card, like, unless it's a real account, it's it's all fake. So don't I, click on I it, clicked Sarah, on the, okay? I clicked on the profile, and if you scroll past, it's like profile pictures of some dude and his family. If you scroll back far enough. Oh, it, 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 does he look like this, and does he talk like this, too? That's pretty racist. Where is this guy from? That's what are you racist. talking about? This is my alter eagle, Habib. Racist. Don't you look at me like that. This is be a bomb threat in here. Did, why yeah, would you see, say something stupid like Because you're acting stupid. That's what's going to happen now. Now I'm not going to come to work next week because I'm afraid of my life. Oh, yeah. Let's you're see. not going to get a Slurpee. See? Now you're saying they all... <laughs> no, I'm not. That's not what I'm <laughs> saying. Will you stop with that? What is wrong with you? Jeez. <laughs> Jim, I thought I knew you, but I don't know you. He means so if I thought like this, does does that make me a racist boss or two? No, it makes you illegal. <laughs> 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 All right, see what you're doing to me. New topic. Okay, that was wrong. That was you're racist. You're racist. So, comrade, what we do here in studio? <laughs> you know, President Trump. President Trump and I, we like that. 
I help him with elections. <laughs> Why you not say anything on that? Oh my goodness. Comrade, you know. You licked my dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kate's listening. So, <laughs> oh. Who said that? It's supposed to be you kicked my dog when Sarah posted it. It came out you licked my dog. Sarah, why are you licking dogs? She's not. You are. Why am I licking dogs? He says you licked my dog. You licked my dog. Oh, shit. That is they're, they're coming for you, Jim. He's got it. So this is not the United FM. Oh. What is this we talk about here? Uh, nothing really. You told me that President nothing. Trump was going to be here. We got T-shirts for sale. We have T-shirts. Thirty dollars piece if you want one. The hell did we get T-shirts? Don't worry about that. I'll show you. You after. have a collar. What science shirt do you wear, Jim? Uh, Put him on spot. He's gonna say medium watch. Hello, caller. Two X. Hi. Five X. That's what he meant. So. Hey, Felicia. What's up? Hey, how's it going? Sorry, I haven't called. I'm busy having a life. So you just saying that we don't have a live? Like, what the hell was no. that about? I'm just giving you shit. You but see that? that? Jim, she she's talking to you, bro. No, she's not talking to she me. Talk she's about talking about you. to you. She's like, I got life. <laughs> I got life. I got life for real. <laughs> for real <laughs> life. Yeah, why are you, why yeah, are you trying busy. to talk like me, man? Yeah, why don't busy. you just sit there be quiet instead of trying to talk like I'm me? Make a sandwich. <laughs> but you've been busy, too, huh? Um. <laughs> no. 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 Jim is the one who's busy. He's been canceling the past month. Oh. Okay, let's Yeah, see. he's like a date. Um, like, you ask him out on a date, and he's like, yeah, yeah, I'll come. I'll, I'll definitely go. Then they don't show up, and it's like, all right, cool. Yeah. And then the next day, you ask again, and they're like, oh, yeah, I definitely want to. I'm so sorry about last night. And then they don't show up again. Yeah, That's I, Jim. I wasn't out of the state or anything, that was you Jim. bastard. Yeah, see, they all say they're <laughs> out of state. God. Yeah. So what's no, up yeah, with you, sorry. busy lady? I'm a little out of breath. I was just mopping some floors. I bet. <laughs> so how's everything? It's been a while since I called in. I'm still dealing with him. Yeah. yeah. He can't find anybody else is what the real problem is. He knows I'm oh. too I'm too reliable is what's going on. <laughs> like I showed up when he didn't even show up those past three weeks. <laughs> You're so full well, of it. I was outside knocking hey. on the door in the cold. Just I walked can't say 10 I'm miles. not guilty of that because I did say I would call in and I didn't for a while. So. Yeah, you missed out on a lot. Yeah, last week I, I told everybody about my um, crazy life. Now it's back to normal. Now it's back to normal. Now it's a yeah. little bit better, but. Yeah, well, I'm moving my studio. Did oh, yeah? I tell you that? No, where are you moving to? To the old Hannafin's building. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You're so excited? I'm mopping the floors right now. Nice. Oh, it's a lot bigger, right? I was doing that yesterday. Huge. They just opened up a nice. new... Well, they're going to be opening up a new bar in Groton. You guys should yeah. check that out. That's well, gonna what be does insane. that have to do with the drunken palate? She's talking about the drunken palate. you got to throw up some random You're thing not supposed about to a, say her name, bro. That's her government name. You're not supposed to say it. Oh, for the love of it's Christ. <laughs> now she's not going to talk dirty anymore. Now she's not going to be funny. I don't care anymore. I just had to... You know, when you're making a transition for political reasons, you have to keep it quiet. Yeah, Jim. So I don't, I don't talk like politics. politics. Yeah, We're not talking talk. politics. Stop. Shut relax, up. liberal. But that's relax. why I wasn't saying liberal. anything I got you before. a liberal. See? Cry baby. <laughs> Snowflake, right? Was that what they're called? <laughs> Snowflake. No, I was just saying Jim's a snowflake. Sarah, you mean James. What does she mean? Oh. Sarah's going to fill in for you next time. All right, Sarah, come on down. Come on down. <laughs> I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> I don't get paid nothing. Nothing. Well, so, Felicia, so did you... Well, no, you probably didn't because I deleted it, like, real quick. Okay. But, um... Show me it. Yeah, no, like, four weeks ago, I think. I lost my car. It blew up. I lost... Oh, no, it wasn't four weeks ago. Yeah, it was. It was, like, at the end of July. You, lo you lost your car? It blew up? Yeah, so... So, it all happened one way. <laughs> One week. So Saturday I was DJing at this very nice place. And then I had to leave an hour early because I fried my mixer and I didn't have a backup. And I thought that was bad. And then I broke up with my ex-girlfriend on that Monday. 
And then I thought that was bad. And then on Wednesday, I blew up my car. So my, um, pretty much my timing belt, my radiator, like everything when I was driving. I just blew the head oh. gasket and then it blew everything out. And then I thought that was bad. And then the next day, I got laid off from my day job, which I oh. thought that was bad too. So it was pretty fun. That's awesome. Good. But how do you break up with an ex girlfriend? <laughs> well, okay, I broke up with my girlfriend that I was dating during that time. No, what it was was she broke up with him and he got pissed off and said, You can't break up with me. I'm, I'm going to blow my car up and I'm going to get laid off. That's exactly what I did. Maybe she's the one that fucked up your shit. No. Sorry, I forgot I'm on the radio. <laughs> Yeah, no, that, no, no, no. That boat already sailed. No. <laughs> that boat already sailed. Yeah, you already swore like 10 times. No, I had nothing to do with her. It's just my life. But I think it was just for me to get over the situation with her, I guess is what it was. Because then I had a lot more serious stuff. So it puts everything in perspective, right? Yeah, you get upset because you lose a friend, you lose a girlfriend. And you feel like, oh, everything sucks. But then when your car blows up, you're like, who cares about that? Like, you're trying to get to work. When I had, like, ten places and everybody's like, are you okay, man? Can you? We're going to have to cancel. And I'm like, no, we're not going to cancel. Like, I'm no. going to be there. So I hustled and I used, like, everybody's car that I knew and made it happen. And oh. then... And then I, sw- I swore at my boss when she laid me off. And she was, was laughing. And I was like, yeah, you know, I'm not mad at you. I just really horrible because i knew the job wasn't gonna last like i knew my particular job was funding differently than other jobs yeah. and they pretty much just closed down my office and they offered me to go to new haven and i was like i'm not going to new haven but you know but she knew and she was like so sad about it and i was like you know it's okay i'm sorry that i swore but oh my god if you saw me in there i was like i didn't even really freak out i was just like are you effing kidding me and she's like oh my god are you okay and i'm like Dude, my car blew up. Girlfriend I loved is no more. Uh, my fried and mixer, which was like my main piece of equipment that I needed. Luckily, I had backup, so it wasn't a big deal. But and, in the moment, it's And now there's a country song written about him. I yeah. was just about to say that. I wish there was. I almost... <laughs> I wish there was. We're going to have to find one. No, We're gonna have to find one. one. Exactly. Make Hold one. on. We're going to look up... Country songs. No, for don't. This, the week. You got to make no, one. Like, um, country song track, but then you make your own song on top of that. Like Get the instrumental. Lyrics. Make your own lyrics to it. Um, we need some beatboxing country. Go. Yeah, you beatboxing give me something. Isn't beatboxing isn't country. Music. Keith, play some music. I'm about to hit it. Get him a generic country instrumental. Yeah, oh con- or some kind of generic country. Can we do that? Are we capable? <laughs> Something with, doing that. <laughs> something with banjos. Come on, man. Some banjos. cowbell. You're near, near, near now. <laughs> <laughs> Do that. I'll R- sing over that. Rascal Flats backwards. <laughs> Do no, it. Don't play it backwards. The name of the song is this backwards. This song should be called Don't Date Your Ex. Oh, Don't Break Up With Your Ex Girlfriend. No, it had nothing to do with that. You guys are missing the point. That's it. The name of the song is Dumping My Ex. <laughs> no, that's not even the. No, that's not. <laughs> That is not even the gist of it. Like, that's not even a big deal. Oh, you know what's going to be the name of the song? My life. My horrible <laughs> my life. Is not, my ex isn't the biggest mess. <laughs> oh, that's not too bad. Is that on air right now? It's yeah. on air right now, so go ahead. Turn yeah, up a little bit. On air. <laughs> I found my DJ mixer, and on this Monday, I broke up with my girlfriend. Oh, my goodness. Then Wednesday got so horrible, I blew up my car. It got set on fire, and I ran so far. I thought the worst happened, but no, I was wrong. The next day, I got laid off by my job. What the fuck is going on? Language. Hey, she swore already. That's it. That's yeah, all but I, I mean. That's all I got. <laughs> Shut it. Kill it. Kill it. That was pretty good. That was good. That was, that was very, that was funny. That Shut was, up. That was entertaining. Shut up. Did you, Keith, did you record that? No, he didn't. Uh, everything's didn't recorded. Yes, I did. Everything's recorded. Hey, you know the oh, okay. we made a vagina song too. Dude, that all I have to do a remix on. All you're, you all you're missing. All you're missing is a dog. Um, <laughs> so speaking of dogs, I was actually going to buy a dog because everybody's like, you should get a dog. Girls love them. But then I'm like, well, my dog would probably die because I'm never home. So well, it's you like, borrow one. I can borrow one now. <laughs> I don't even want. 
Well, I was thinking about a cat, because cats are actually pretty cool. You can cool. do dog sitting or, or dog walking in that way, because it's just back in time. And then well, the thing, the reason why I bring up the dogs is when I was with my ex-girlfriend, like, I noticed it. I don't know why the song's still going. Keith, you know shut what? it off. He you, sucks at life. Y'all didn't, you know, didn't sing in your southern drawl. Y'all. You got to add that in there. Oh, no, I'm done with the free yeah, songs. I'm sing the vagina song. Wait, I'm going to make What's the remix. The vagina song? Um, vagina it's Keith song. saying vagina. And then I'm going to make a remix of it. It's in one of the intros of like a show like a uh, month ago. An impromptu, like, you don't always die from tobacco. Sometimes you break up with your ex, you know. Oh. <laughs> What? <laughs> tobacco. Why are you guys stuck on the ex-girlfriend thing? That's literally ex the ho, least. It rhymes. That's literally the least of the worries of what happened to me. But you know I what? Know, you know what? That was like too upbeat. You need to have that. Um, like a slow song. All right, put a slow one on. Put, put like a slow one on. Put something. like um. Hmm. Find a song that says "I lost my pickup truck and my dog ran away." And I mean, it's, it's got to be somewhere up there. Sweet Caroline. Like, oh yeah, what is that? Is that um Bad to the Bone? Folk. Bad Bad to the Bone. Get the Bad to the Bone oh, instrumental. Up. There you go. No, I can't do it. It's slow. <laughs> All right. Life has been hard. So freaking hard. On Sunday I was at a party And I fried my mixer Instead of giving a refund I said peace Cause that shit broke Now I'm driving I, I'm not feeling this We're, no, it's a, no, that's not working out he What's up mom? I lost it I lost it all and Then he lost his car <laughs> My girl and my job <laughs> And my mind oh, and, he, and he lost his ex <laughs> Yo what else did I lose Dude I had to lose something else Goddamn that Goddamn redneck Lost my mind for a minute <laughs> Yo there was something else But I honestly don't remember I think I, I might have ran over like somebody's hard. dog that week I don't know <laughs> But, um, I think you did. You run over your neighbor's shut dog. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. All right, put on some hip hop. <laughs> Keith, put some hip hop on. Like, um, damn, what song? I was rapping to something the other day. Yeah. Yeah. Yo. Yo. Damn. Check it. Check it. Uh. Uh, worst week of my life I couldn't imagine All the crap I went through It was worse than traffic I free freestyle And the beat just went dumb Keep on the one, two, threes Let's go right. you I gotta, gotta be with the We gotta rap about something else We gotta rap about something else Because I don't Uh, yeah My car was on fire I'm higher Than the sky Cause I got no job You can hire me for some money. What is going on with his beat, Keith? Yeah, no. What are you doing it's over there? It's banjo, banjo with beat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to shoot Keith because he sucks at life. If you want to mess with me, I'll bang your wife. I'm on the mic. I don't joke. I slight. I don't know what to say. I'm about to fight. Knock your lights out. This beat is sick. Jim, go ahead and go and suck on some because he's gay. <laughs> what the Ladies hell? And gentlemen. All right, that's it. That's it. I'm James done, disappeared just... today after a, doing a radio show. He has not Thank been you. seen oh. in... <laughs> My life does not feel necessarily as bad now that you told me your story, so thank you. You're welcome. Honestly, that's You're why welcome. I'm like happy about it, because oh, I was very miserable, Felicia, and then I realized that everybody that I've met since then, they're like, oh, my life sucks. And I'm like, hey, bro, did you do this and this and this and this? And like, no. And I'm like, then who cares about your life? Because your life doesn't suck. Because it's I went through the worst. Life. And I'm here. I'm taking it back. Got this cool ass van. About to buy a convertible and buy this pickup truck. Ladies and gentlemen, do not accept it. candy from this van. Listen, <laughs> I do have candy in my van. Yeah, I know you do. That's you what I'm some? saying. Nope. Yeah, teddy bears in the front window. I actually have a big giant teddy bear that has my t-shirt on. Yeah. I think I'm joking. It's a bear in the chair. You never seen him? No. 
Go to my Facebook page and type in Bear in the Chair. Bear in the Chair. Yeah, that's another country song. Bear in the Chair. Bear in the Chair. We're going to do some Irish step dancing. Aye, it sounds like SpongeBob. Oh, it is SpongeBob. Oh, aye, aye, Captain. lives in a pineapple under the sea. James O'Grady. <laughs> he lives in New London. You can't even see. Yellow and porridge. Are you doing all this yourself, Keith? Or is this stuff that you're looking up? Because this sounds actually pretty cool. Or it could be the Lansdowne pub. Ooh. It's got a little Irish to it. Bang. Just Bang. a little Irish Bang. to it. Oh, my goodness. I don't know where he's coming up. Oh, uh, I know. We're not even able to talk to Felicia. It's okay. I was just going to tell you about the time I left my pole at the strip club. <laughs> what? You left your you what? You left your pole at the strip club? Your daughter at the strip club is what I heard. I heard yeah, my pole. Your pole. Your pole? Yeah, your pole? pole? She did say pole. Pole. I sure did. Oh. You hear that, Jim? I left She's... my pole at the strip club. So I get a call after I was doing body painting at, at the strip club, and um, I, I used the pole to hang my blacklight because I was doing blacklight body painting. And... um. I get a call the next day from the manager, and she's like, hey, um, I don't know how to tell you this. I've never said this to anybody, but you left your pole here. <laughs> I was like, did, oh. did you did you wash it good? <laughs> did you ask her if she sat on it? <laughs> well, I didn't dance on it. But did she yeah, sit on it? Did. So but... He wasn't there the next day, so I had to go and tell this person who had no fucking clue what I was talking about that I left my pole there, and I certainly don't look like a stripper, so that was really confusing to her. <laughs> Uh, but that was funny. Great job. Um, yes, yeah. I'm, I'm here to retrieve my pole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Pretty much. Like, I, I left my here last night. <laughs> hey, so um, to go back to something that we talked about was like months ago when you um, yeah, yeah. were talking about helping people out at the grocery store. I think now the time is like right for that. Right, because no, now there's no the bags. Back school time. You want to get hit up for being a pedophile? No, no, no. What I'm what? No, what I'm saying is like the whole bag situation. There's Want no bags. Candy, like, little girl. If you sit out oh. there and you sell reusable bags, like, or if you don't even do that, you just see somebody struggling. And you're like, hey, here's my bag. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, don't do be. That. Oh, what do you mean? Yep. You guys aren't gonna laugh at this, but the crap that you guys said about helping people bring this stuff to the car and like that was valid. I thought this bag idea was pretty genius. You know they get paper bags for free, right? Uh, some places are charging ten cents for that. For, well, yeah, for they can charge ten bag. cents for the paper no, bag. No, listen, there's the money. paper bags too. Keith, I forgot what store it was, but he knows. There's a couple stores out there doing uh, paper bags. You know, it's even funnier though. It's the whole thing's a joke. They're saying that they're trying to help the environment, but it doesn't matter. The people who care about the environment already had reusable bags. People who don't care yeah. about it are just paying money to the government. The government hates you. Especially you, Jim. Hey. Arr. Arr. No, I don't use recyclable bags. I don't. I just keep forgetting them. I tried to jump on that bandwagon, but who can freaking remember? That's what I mean. So it's like today I lost my blueberries again. Again. I was walking up my stairs with that all the stuff in my was, hands. Is that what you blueberries. call them? Yeah. My blueberries, wow. man. <laughs> At least they're size relation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's funny. Small balls. I got you. Every girl's crazy about a little dick, man, huh, James? <laughs> <laughs> the song sounds like you you wrote it over there. Oh, that was easy top. <laughs> Does he really say that in the song, though? <laughs> no, really? I don't know. I mean, Jesus Christ, you're a DJ and you don't know half of these freaking songs or bands. I don't know. Oh that would have been a cool song, though, I would think. What's every girl's crazy about a sharp dressed man? Yeah. Yeah, otherwise i Unless your name is Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Felicia, what's the craziest thing you did today? Today? Oh man. Um oh I, I drew up my daughter with paint. <laughs> is that it? I mean like what? Like the craziest thing I did was stone an apple at somebody. Um oh. Uh, Alright, craziest thing you did this week. This week. Um, oh, I had my, I still have a, a home health aid because my foot's still kind of messed up. And I accidentally left my toy out and I didn't realize that. 
and she came over and cleaned and then I came home and she, I found it sitting on my nightstand really nice and neat and I was really freaking embarrassed. <laughs> she cleaned your toy? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is that what she just said? <laughs> she just said that she the maid cleaned, cleaned your, your toy? She they didn't clean it. They just put it on my nightstand. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, this used to be a PG-rated show. No, she's talking about a toy. I said toy. Uh, I know what toy she's talking about. Yeah, toy. <laughs> toy. Like a toy car. Forget about yeah. it. Toy. Like remote yeah, controller. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Did they replace the batteries for you, too? Does it have batteries? Oh, my. Yeah, does it take... Uh, one of those uh, USB terminals. It plugs oh in God. the wall? That's awesome. USB. Yeah. Is that, is that U, USB, USB 2.0? <laughs> is it 0.3? <laughs> There's a lot of models. Oh, my God. You're getting Ladies crazy. and gentlemen, next week on Project Arrowhead, James will explain how to use a toy. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of would, different ones. Would like Buzz and Woody. <laughs> Why would I explain <laughs> Buzz and Woody. <laughs> oh, sunny, you rock. Oh, my God. I, I'll send you the name. It says mommy's favorite toy, and it has that with all the toys from Toy Story. <laughs> Holy crap. We're so I think that's getting it. fined. <laughs> no, I'm not getting fined. It's not my got show. Not on me. That's Keith. <laughs> yeah, well, we can do like Howard Stern shit here. Yeah, Howard Stern. Why not? That's right. People like that. Well, it's that People time like it. again. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> It was great to talk to you guys. Great talking to you, Felicia. Hopefully Bye. we'll talk to you next week. Enjoy your time. Right. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Um, yeah, I got nothing on that one. Whoa. Getting back to it. Remember, you heard the prediction here. Super Bowl. Beep, beep, Thank you, Keith. The Super Bowl will be the New England Patriots and the Chicago Bears. No way. No way. NFC Championship game will be the Patriots versus either the Chargers or the Chiefs, depending on Melvin Gordon. And the NFC Championship game will be New Orleans and Chicago. And the Super Bowl will be Chicago and New England. You heard it here. My Giants will have a winning record, though. I promise they'll have a winning record. They may not have a winning record, but I'm going to hold out hope. Anyway, until next week, peace out.